Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers and I am back with a tutorial. Today we're going to use Holiday 2021 Christmas Sage by Jesse James Beads. Um, I love this mix. Um, I will say that I am using um, mostly one kit today or one mix today, but I will be using elements out of a second kit. But here are the beautiful beads in this kit today. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna do to warm up, it's one of my favorite things to do, is just make a really cute pair of earrings. Um, again, I'm gonna use the snow Snowflake out of one of the kits for a pair of earrings. So this snowflake is really pretty and I, that's the thing I really loved about these kits this year is although they all, <clears throat> well most of them have snowflakes in them, they're not all the same snowflake. Um, if you caught the live that I did the other day, you would have seen that I made a an earring out of a different snowflake, which I can show you here using the fireplace. Um, oh, by the fireplace kit. So it's a completely different snowflake different look than we're going for today, but I wanted to show you that anyway. So for this earring, we're gonna need an eye pin or you can just use wire. We'll need one of the little frosted bell flowers out of this kit. Um, it's acrylic. And we'll need one of these little crystals and a crystal rondelle, um, an ear wire, and a little seed bead. So I'm using these um, this gold color, gold bronze color from the Vintage Vibes set. It's like my go-to seed bead these days. So um, I am going to very carefully open the um, eye on my eye pin so I can hook my um, hook my snowflake to it. Okay. So there we go. We have our eye pin. This would be cute as an earring, just attach that to an ear wire, but um, we're gonna just do a little bit more. We're gonna put on the bell flower. It kind of looks like a snow, like a snowflake hanging from icicles or something to me. I'm gonna put on a crystal rondelle spacer. Crystal rondelle. And our little seed bead. And I'm just gonna do a uh, a simple loop and I want to make sure that the loop is facing the correct way so I need to go sideways on it. There we go. Cut a small bit of wire. And curl. And I just want to make sure that that closes. There we go, and I'm just gonna put on our ear wire. And here's our little cute earring. I just love it. I love it so Great. much for last minute gifts, like a hostess gift if you're going to a party, or um, stocking stuffers. So cute. So next I'm going to, let's make a couple bracelets. Um, so the first one I have these beads pulled out for, and I want this to be the focal, and I haven't really decided if I want to string this bracelet or if I'd like to do simple loops or wire wrapping um, up the sides, but um, I'd like to lay out my bracelet at least. And uh, I think I'm gonna start with these cute little glass pearls definitely sagey um, and then I'm gonna go with these crystals and then I'm gonna get a little bit bigger because this this is flat so I needed to start off with smaller beads but as I go out I can get a little bit bigger I'll go with these guys some of these. And then we'll come back down into some crystals. And again, I don't know how um, I'd like this to turn out. <laughs> I don't know if I want it to link it or string it. I think we'll string it because we have 
our crystal roundel spacer in it that would be hard to do with a link all right that's what we'll do so I have some um, beetle on 19 strand wire in gold and um, I'm just gonna crimp right onto our little flower there You can use a wire guard, you can use a crimp, uh, I'm sorry, a, a um, jump ring, but I'm not, sorry, the goldy hairs are all over the place today. I'm just going to do just like that. And we can use a crimp cover too. So I'm going to take my little crimping pliers. And then I'm just going to settle that into our deepest valley on the crimping pliers, making sure that my uh, my wires aren't crossed. And that can be a little difficult, so please take your time. Make sure you're not doing this when you're in a rush and you only have five minutes. You want to make sure you only crimp, crimp once. However, it's not the end of the world if you have to do it twice. Um, it's just easier if you just can only need to do it once. And if you like, you can totally just flat crimp it too. Okay, so we fold, did our fold. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and swish. And do a little swish up the suppliers. Okay. So I'm going to cut off this side off of my spool. I'm just going to feed on my beads. So we have one side. I am just going to, uh, I'm just going to uh, like put a uh, clamp on here just in case I need to make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab uh, my wire again and a crimp bead and then I will do the other side. Okay, so I do need um, a few inches on either side of, well, I need a few inches extra length on the bracelet and don't worry about the wires that are sticking out. I'll trim those once we're, we're finished. I am just going to go through my leftover beads from my mix and see what's in here. This is just from the one mix I used. Oh, we have another one of these. So you put those on either side. A couple of these, I really liked these beads. They're like resin with some mother of pearl on the inside, so they're really cute. Um, I'm gonna add those and see how that goes. Grab a seed bead or two. Put this between our crystal and our cylinder. And I saw little brown beads in here. I think these will go well on here. Okay. So that seems to be um, the perfect length. And I just need to get a, um, a clasp. I usually use toggles. And I'm just going to grab one out of my stash. So um, I am going to grab some crimp beads and I am just going to crimp right on to the toggle class. And you can see there's a little bit of a gap on this one. So if I want, really wanted to, I could restring it. I'm just going to add on a crimp. Sometimes you can add on two crimp covers, whatever um, makes it look better for you. It just looks like an extra bead. There we go. And you just slowly close that up. we go and then I'll do the other side um, I got out four because we want to do the crimps up by the flower too that's why I ultimately decided because I wanted it to look a little bit more finished up there there we go so we have ourselves a very beautiful sage um, bracelet and I think it's great for Christmas but also you know 
pretty much any season because it it looks Christmassy, it looks fall, it looks spring. I think it, this one's definitely gonna be something I'm wearing all the time. So pretty. But I think we need to make a twin to make it a little bit more the Christmas sage spirit. Um, we're gonna use uh, that um, snowflake again. And I have some more beads that were also in the kit. So this one's gonna be a little bit more petite. Um, in bead size because we got some big chunky ones on here this one's just going to be have some smaller beads in it so um i'm going to go ahead i was thinking we would do this one as a stretch bracelet so let's get a couple of these crystals in here some of the green beads Um, cubes and I actually want to put the cylinder right there I think there we go crystal rondelle spacers in the front so we can see them or sometimes uh, I have the charm hang on the top of my wrist so I can see the charm so that's where I'm gonna put these crystal rondelle spacers and then we'll put a couple more of these guys. There we go. Um, we have a couple bead caps in here. I don't know if we need length I'll end up using these bead caps we'll see how how it goes I like them either way all right so I am going to use some elasticity and I'm just gonna start piling my beads on oh I'm gonna need to get a jump ring for that guy And then I'm just going to start stringing. Um, I'm going to see, probably put this bead in the middle in the back. To have a center point in the back, I'm going to use this larger um, crystal rondelle and then two more crystal rondelle spacers. So I'm just going to start. And then this is what happened when I used, um, when I put those crystal beads inside of the bead caps. I actually really like it. It looks like it's like um, caged. So I'm going to leave it like that. I needed a little bit of length. So out of my second kit, I took another, um, or well, one of these green pearls and another crystal for either side. And I'm just going to make sure I pre-stretch so it doesn't stretch out over time. Okay, and then we'll do three knots. One, two, three. And then I'll glue my knot. I usually use um, GS Hypo Cement. Oh, and I gotta make sure that this is straight before I glue. There we go. And I just dab it on the knot, making sure to saturate both sides, close up the glue. And then um, I just kind of give it a tug to work the glue into that knot. And then I let it sit for about five minutes to set and then I'll cut the ends and move the knot into one of the beads. Isn't this gorgeous? And doesn't it look really great with um, its pair? Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, these are so cute. All right, and so with the rest of our beads from our kit that you, I haven't shown you yet, and we're gonna make a necklace. So um, these are the rest of the beads from that kit. And we're probably going to use some chain reaction. I have some of this really nice sage color. It works really well for this one. This is what it says on the back. 
number one. I don't know how much of this we're gonna use yet, but it's so perfect with this entire kit. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm thinking I wanna use this beautiful briolette. Um, there were two in the kit, um, the mix, and I want it to hang from our flower. So I'm gonna kind of just position everything really quickly. And then from the rest of the beads, I wanted uh, these to be front and center because they're gorgeous, these barrel cut beads. Um, I grabbed one of these, I'm gonna put it right there. Um, again, with the, uh, we have some of the uh, fabric beads. We have two more of these. We have um, some really cool stars, or they could be snowflakes too, but they're enamel and with rhinestones, gorgeous. And then the really cool thing about these, they have connectors on the back. So we're gonna put these off to the side between our first set of crystals and the fabric beads. And then I'm going to dangle a little crystal ball from the bottom. And then towards the top, I'm going to put a um, little pearl, another little pearl, crystal cube. And then um, I'll need another um, crystal ball from my second kit but you can use whatever spacers you wanna use. Okay, so we have to work on our pendant first, and um, I am going to use some thinner gauge wire. I think we're gonna use like 20, 24 gauge, I think is what I have. If not, 22 will be fine, 26 will probably even work here. But I am gonna really messy wrap that briolette. I want it to have so many wraps. It's gonna be crazy. Well, maybe not crazy, but it'll have a lot of room. I have a few feet here, probably two and a half, three feet of wire. And then I am just going to slip that through and I am going to move one piece up, the longer piece, and then bring it to the center here, kind of and then kind of bring it going um, uh, straight up from the bead. Then I'm gonna take the second smaller wire, shorter wire, and I'm just gonna wrap a couple times to get it secure. And if you want, you could do this, you can move the briolette to the middle and twist your wires if they're not very sturdy but I like how that looks. And I am just gonna go around one more time. Get that secure. Okay, so we have our briolette started. I'm gonna snip this. And then what we're gonna do is do a wire wrap and then we're just gonna messy wrap the top of this. Um, I'm gonna put on my little crystal ball first. Okay, so we'll slide that all the way down to our bead. Okay. I'm going to do my um, wrap. Let's start my loop. It's a very long wire, so it's going to kind of be um, a little bit of a pain until we get it going. And then I'm going to bring it around back after repositioning my wire. And what I'm gonna do before we start wire wrapping is connect my flower to the briolette. So we find the end. This flower is the same top or bottom, so it doesn't really matter which one we put on the wire. So I'm gonna start wire wrapping. I'm gonna hold my loop right there just do a couple wraps right up against the top of the loop, like that. One more. And this wire is so malleable, I'll be able to reposition this if it's not hanging correctly later. And then I am going to 
bring it down the back of our bead and start going around our briolette with a really messy wrap. That's pretty already. So I'm just going to keep going. And you can stop when you're ready. You can make it as messy, as neat, as much or as little as you'd like. Okay, here is our finished pendant. I am in love with it. And um, I think we're going to string this. So I'm just going to attach it with a jump ring. I'm just going to put a jump ring here. What I'll need to do though is find um, some smaller beads and maybe I'll just use some seed beads or something right there to um, give a resting place for our little pendant. And these are the same seed beads that I showed at the beginning. So I am going to find a head pin. Actually, I'm going to find two head pins. I'm just going to make a simple loop here. I'm not going to wire wrap. Then I'm going to hook those on to our little pendant here and then close that up. Here we go. So we have one little drop. That would make a really pretty earring too if you didn't want to put it on your necklace. All right, so now we're ready to string. I'm going to string directly onto my spool and up saving more um, wire that way. And I'm just going to start with crystal ball spacer. Get my seed beads here. Okay, so we have our main part of our necklace, and this is so pretty. This is so, so pretty. And it will sparkle when you're wearing it. So we have our main part of our necklace, and then I am just going to figure out how long I'd like my uh, necklace to be. And then I, once I have that um, decided, I'm going to crimp right onto my chain. So I want my chain to be about this long, which is perfect. I'll just have two um, closed links that I can crimp right onto because these are wire wrapped. Cut that. And this will not be an over the head necklace, so I'll have to um, find the middle of this chain, cut it, and then um, add a clasp as well. We'll cut our tail. And here is our necklace. And again, I will be adding a clasp to it in just a moment, but oh, I love it. It's so sparkly. And these don't automatically look like um, snowflakes. You could probably wear this for the majority of the year. And then I'm going to just find that same cl um, clasp in my stash that I used on the bracelet. So they're coordinating.
And here is our finished necklace. I'm so excited, this is so pretty. There we go. That is so pretty. And then um, it goes so well with our bracelet pair. Oh, and I have to finish this bracelet off. We'll snip our ends and slide that into our bead. And our earrings. This is a really well coordinated kit. I love that they just stuck with greens and neutrals and gold and white. Um, just, let me know what you think. And I say thank you to Jesse James Beads again for having me back. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their day. Bye bye.